Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her husband may let it stand, or her husband may make it void. But if her husband altogether hold his peace at her from day to day, then he shall cause all of her vows to stand, or all her bonds which are upon her. He hath let them stand, because he has held his, held his peace at her in the day that he heard them. But if he shall make them null and void after he hath heard them, then he shall bear her iniquity. So, two parts to the same command, to keep vows, and an exemption for the woman, if she was married or still living in her father's house. This does not apply to, to widows or those who are divorced. Now, a lot of people might think that once the father or the husband nullifies that vow, it just goes away. It doesn't go away. It says clearly that he bears the iniquity of those broken vows for her when he nullifies them, whether it be father or husband. In other words, brothers and sisters, you can't, if you're a woman, just break a vow and walk away from it. Your husband will pay the price if you do. It's up to him to choose uh, in the day that he hears it whether he should do that or not. There's always a price paid for sin. There's no way out except through the blood of our Messiah and the mercy of the Most High. Now, I've heard it asked, well, if he bears her iniquity and then he turns and he asks forgiveness, uh, isn't he forgiven through the blood of Messiah? Um, I would call that a loophole, would you? There is no loophole. If he does it deliberately, the penalty is going to stand with him. He can repent and be forgiven, but there's a precept within the Torah and with sacrifices and with vows and with promises, with sin, that if possible, restitution must be made. And if restitution is possible, it, it must be made. If she made a vow, for instance, to give away a goat or a lamb, and he comes in that same day and nullifies that vow, it doesn't mean that they don't have to pay the goat or the lamb. It means he has to pay it now, not her. It might seem like splitting hairs. They're one flesh and, and treated as one person. But the point is, she made the vow. If you have the lamb, you must pay it. If you don't, there must be repayment arranged in some other fashion. If somebody tries to just slip through or use a loophole in order to do wrong, it won't stand. I'll leave the rest of that to your study. Now with the man, it says he must do what proceeds out of his mouth. No loophole. No if, and, or yeah, but. It doesn't matter what it costs you. You have to do it. So, in most cases, let your yes be yes, and your no be no. And don't make vows you can't keep. 